All right, everyone. Um, here's Jeff Cote with Boating Tech Talk. Uh, we've got another question from a fellow boater named Walter. Walter's got a water maker and mentions, Jeff, I see a spike on the pain panel amp meter when I run the water maker and then it settles down. I've also noticed that on my Victron touch display screen, it also switches from bulk charging to inverting. It seems that it takes so much power. Is this normal? Well, all right. So this is a little bit of a complicated question. So the reality is there's two types of AC loads on a boat. Uh, there's resistive loads and inductive loads. And of interest here is the water maker is an inductive load. And why does this matter? It means that when, especially any loads, the AC loads that are motorized are gonna often see a spike, a high amperage um, draw some point, and generally at the beginning, to actually make the water maker function properly. And that spike in, in current is gonna have an effect on your ability to deliver all that current to the water maker. So, all right, so now we know that a water maker is inductive. We know it has, as Walter mentioned, we see a spike in the amps being drawn when the water maker runs. But what gets interesting is that maybe, for example, the boat was running on generator right? And so you've got, you're, you're running your generator, you're charging, your batteries are bulk charging, and suddenly you turn on the water maker, and now the inverter charger doesn't bulk charge anymore, it, it inverts. Why would you suddenly go from charging to inverting? Well, some inverter chargers have the function of actually being able to assist or boost. There's different words, but basically provide more current than is available um, on a boat. So that means that it will actually be, let's say, for example, if you had a 50 amp shore power connection or a 30 amp shore power connection, it's possible that your inverter could actually go into, for a short period of time, into a boost mode to actually provide more AC current to your AC loads than you actually have incoming either from a generator or shore power. And so that is normal. Very few of us are going to have these sort of inverters. Um, it's not your typical stock inverter. Uh, different manufacturers, including Victron and even Magnum, and a bunch of them actually have this feature. It's rarely configured. So most of us are not going to have this benefit. But it is possible for an inverter charger to actually swap out of charging mode and become an inverter to provide additional amperage, especially in these peaks where the inductive loads are asking a lot more current than would be usual. Now, here's an idea. What I recommend uh, when you're started loading up a generator or shore power is to turn on your inductive loads first, because those are the ones that are going to actually take more amperage at the beginning. And once they're actually running, they're going to reduce their amperage. So as a way to offset these spikes, what a boater can do is um, actually start your inductive loads first and then add your resistive loads at the end. And that gives you a little bit more sort of buffer to handle the peaks for the beginning because there's no other resistive loads. They come in a steady state and then you add up your resistive loads afterwards. So that's sort of an idea of how you would go about managing power with a water maker while connected to shore power or even a generator. So a great question from Walter and thanks for asking. And thanks for all of you tuning in. Much appreciated. So if you're curious, again, go on our website and find out more answers and solutions with this sort of setup. And thanks for asking. And thanks for all of you for listening and tuning in.